I know like here in Houston, <laughs> what, about three, four, five weeks ago, mm -hmm. there was a uh, Hurricane Burrow. Yeah, Hurricane that hit, Burrow, man. That's like that a That hit, affected, what, 3.2 million people about around? 3.2 million, and they were without power. For uh, how many for, days? Shoot, some over a week or yeah, more. Yeah, I mean, at least yeah. seven. I was at a home earlier today, and they were out power for almost seven days over in Baytown. There mm -hmm. were some zip codes that were in Houston that were out power for, I want to say, about 14 to 15 days, right. which is insane, especially in July or August in, uh, in Houston. To be out without power for seven mm -hmm. to 10 days, Yeah, I'm talking about sweaty. It's already humid out here. That's extreme, man. I mean, you definitely don't want to be trapped in the house without AC, you know, in the heat of summer. So it's, uh, it's, it's one of those things where you're just not thinking about it on a day-to-day. -day. Yeah. You know, when you talk about that battery storage mm -hmm. and solar combined and all of this stuff. But the, the most impactful part of it all is that people that are paying electricity bills, they're already paying for solar. They just don't have it yet. You get what I'm saying? Look, I tell people all the time, like, that bill, that bill from whoever you have from Reliant to TXU or, or Green Mountain or whatever, there's mm -hmm. a solar uh, fund that's being funded by you with those little fees. Those those fees that are you never really look at, <clears throat> the, obviously the taxes, yeah. the surcharges, all those things add up. And they usually form your utility bill, but you're paying a portion of that to solar farms around the state right now. And ERCOT is taking that money and, or Centerpoint is taking that money and doing whatever they want to do. Yeah, with it. 